Like that? Oh, that's perfect. Freya, that's perfect. What you're doing there? That's perfect. All right. Hold, hold up there, Freya. Don't worry. I got this. Hooray! Did it work? Freya, did it work? I don't think it worked. <laughs>When we had last left, the last dragonborn, they had rescued Bardol, Baradol, Bardul, Bar Barbados, Iron Shaper of Skull Village from the clutches of the fucked up vicious Thalmor agents in the area. Indeed, they sought the secrets of forging Stolrim equipment. But alas, Balador, Bald Baladur, Balderon was far too uh, disciplined to reveal such secrets. And so the last dragonborn was informed of a place where they could also fetch a whole bunch of Stalrim and were given the information to craft their own. Thank goodness they weren't a Thalmor agent or certainly wouldn't ever fall along some terrible evil dark path in the distant future. Who knows what could happen, but definitely none of that. Nonetheless, now it was time to return back to Rallus Sedaris and find out what else awaited in that stupid hole in the ground. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Dragonborn. Welcome back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's go and do it. As you can see, I've done a little bit of decorating, did a little inventory management. Not as much as I would like because I realized, oh shit, I'm actually pretty strapped for time. I believe I noticed some shorter videos going up uh, from here through, probably through to Monday, because I'm going to be visiting with family for the, uh, you know, fun holiday times and all that. Like, like I said, uh, I don't know, a video or so ago that would be going on. Well, here it is, <laughs> and probably more. Like I said, December, just a busy time for me. All right, let us head over to see Rallis, right? Lost Legacy, we got a tract. No, we do not. Unearthed. Colbjorn Barrow, there we go. Let's see. Have we ever actually read... What was the most recent note from Rallis? Good God. Let's see. Where is it here? Hmm. Message from Rallis, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. Oh shit, we forgot to read the second one. <laughs> Alright, what was in the second one? I don't want you to panic, but I need to see you at the Barrow. Quickly, Rallis. Alright, in this one? I hope you're not angry, but I may need some more resources. Come around when you have time. Here we go. What's my what's my Morrowind Dunmer getting? How's that? How's that? I feel like we're getting there. I feel like uh, we're pretty close to perfection. I don't know, you know, not to toot my own horn, but uh, shit. During the time of the uh, Oblivion playthrough, I feel like I nearly got uh, mastered the Oblivion Dunmer voice. And certainly, thanks to doing Morrowind Mondays, I think certainly I'm quite good at the the Morrowind Dunmer voice, right? And it's probably my go-to, right? Because so far we're not we're not beyond the pale where it's impossible for a character to have that Morrowind Dunmer accent, right? Okay, over here, Rallis, what's up? Oh there, what happened? Uh, Everybody die again? I was hoping I wouldn't see you quite so soon. <laughs> really? Why? You wrote me. Oh look, hey, everyone's not dead! Wow, you're alive! Well, his problem now. <laughs> He's oh, like, what? <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't see you quite so soon. What's up? It looks like at least some of the miners survived this time. Yes, well, the mercenaries did their jobs. Worth every septum. Of course, they might disagree. The dead ones. Anyway, gods, what a disaster. I feel like we've done this before, but that just means we're getting good at it. You go make the Draugr dead again, and I'll 
keep the rest of these Enwars from running off. All right, sure. Do you think it was it weird to anyone who'd only ever played like Skyrim or even even Oblivion, right? If Oblivion was your first Elder Scrolls, because they hardly ever say it in Oblivion as well, right? Using any of the like Dunmer colloquialisms, like calling people an Enwa fetcher, shit like that. <laughs> like when you got to this point where people were like, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> I think they they do it a little bit in the core game as well, right? I don't know. Okay, may, maybe it, it registers with people like, yeah, this is some like in-world fictional swear or whatever, right? Uh, but maybe it doesn't register as that being specific to Dunmer, right? I don't know. Okay, because certainly I know I, I did the I did a short talking about um, oh god, what's her name? Oh my god, what's her name? The Jarl of Solitude, the new Jarl, right? About um, her saying that <laughs> that I was wearing a fetching outfit or whatever, and and people were like, "Is fetching a, a swear or something? What does that mean?" <laughs> people thinking they was like, I was talking about in real life. <laughs> Good God! All right, over here, knock you down and around. Let's get a little bit of soul trap. Did you see Gordon trying to like stir up his own like Gordon NATO? The Gornado? The Gornado! Holy shit. <laughs> this sounds way more terrifying than it actually is. Alright. Bone meal. Let's loop back around and check this dude's bod. What have you got? There we are. What do you think we'll get this time? We got a ring, we got some shoes. I guess we still need, like, the rest of the armor. The chest, a hat, and gloves. Right? Yeah. Okay. Anything new over here? I don't- I don't remember what all pieces of armor we even get. Oh, shit. Okay, knock you down. Or knock you up again. And not in the fun way. There we go. Good. You're welcome. <laughs> what are you talking about? It was me. <laughs> Okay, over here, what have we got? Daedric male gauntlets again, of course, the same exact ones, huh? Okay, let's go on over this way, oh shit. Kolbjorn guard, ah, uh, what have you got? Anything good on you? A little bit of money. Whee! Okay. Let's see, how about you? Eh. Okay, now look at this dude. Where did you come from? Good. Run you through. Look at that. There's some blood right there in that, like, dive. Okay. Good. Love it. Oh, an amulet of talents. Okay. Cool. Anything else around here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, What's sure. That? Should we head down here through all this scaffolding? I think so. Right? This looks like maybe the way we need to go. Yeah, down into that lower area. I that I looks right. No, surely not. What? Oh god, that's scary. What did you think that you saw? But that it surely could not be. Oh, minor. This is from before, right? Who's there? Ooh, it's locked. Okay. Let's get inside of this. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Shit. Okay, it's fine. There we go. Nailed it. Oh no, little men! Okay. Poisonous cloaked spider, albino spider. Alright. Get out of here. Did I get them all? Oh, there's one more. Or is it? Oh, it's something else. Okay. Let's take its pod. Good. Okay. Sure. Now we can dig this up. Alright. There. And what have we got in this? Oh, it's booby trapped. What would even get us here? 
Huh. Yeah, what would- what would grab us? What would try and kill us? I don't even know. Something come out of this walrus-faced man? Huh. I don't know. Alright. Let's pick inside it. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, fuck. Almost. Okay. Okay. We got it. We got it. Oh, we got it. Okay. What's in here? Ebony arrows. Meh. Healing. Fear poison. I'll take it. Okay. What else? Yeah, I have no idea. What's the booby trap here? Is there maybe like a trap emitter from somewhere else around here that'll like launch poison arrows or something? Is that something? Nah, I don't know. Huh! Yeah, I wonder what it is! How odd. Normally they're fairly easy to see, right? Very well hidden this time. Man, maybe I should have just let the thing hit me just to find out. Okay. Oh, look at this tiny little urn. Oh, how cute. Or I guess maybe how, like, grim. <laughs> how bleak, right? You know, there's not many things that would fit inside of such a tiny urn, and all of them some degree of sad. Okay. Let's head on out. Sorry, Freya. There we are. Anything else good around here? Oh no! Okay. I'll make her protect me. Good. Mess you up. Oh fuck! Jeez, I'm Pete. Fuck me. Okay. Run it way down here. Can avoid the super log. Okay. Good. I feel like. Yeah, we've totally been down this route. Are we meant to go here, actually? I don't think so, but maybe. Oh shit, here's another dude. What? <laughs> Freya's combat calls are so good, I love them. <laughs> Is this dude alive? <laughs> what? By the Allmaker! Where did you come from? <laughs> Does Freya, like, need glasses or something? <laughs> She's, like, so surprised whenever we enter combat. She just, like, doesn't know. <laughs> Is that, like, one of the things? She's, like, you know, an instance of someone within this fantastical setting who actually just has, like, a fairly uh, modern-day sort of issue. Like, she's she's very nearsighted or whatever, and she just can't see very well without, without some sort of glasses or whatever. <laughs> Good God. Fucking Freya, I love it. Good shit there. Okay. Let's pop this open. Alright, well, that seems... Oh, there's a booby trap there. Uh-oh. What do you think the booby is? Here, look. This asshole can spring it. Who's there? Oh, shit. Or Freya will do it. Freya, no, look! Look out! <laughs> I know you need your seeing glasses, but... There's a booby trap right there, Freya. Oh no! Ooh! Just missed it. Oh. Oh god. It sounded rough. Oh, uh, some boulders come flying. Okay. Let's run around town back here. Wow, we fucked that dude up. How'd we kill that dude so so quick? That was a death lord. Huh. I'd be inclined to say it's the difficulty or whatever. But uh Pretty sure that is not the case. Yeah, we're still on Legendary. And the other Death Lords and stuff were super, super duper easy. Did I just miss it where their health went way down? Oh yeah, maybe the booby trap weakened them when we last saw their- oh. Is someone there? Oh, oh, okay. Who's Rhoda? I blast you! Get out of my rock hole! There we are. Good. There was no other way it could end. Great. Okay. Jeez. There are definitely a lot of miners who did not make it. <laughs> okay. Anything else on you? No, nothing of import. Now we end this. Let's run him down. Uh, oh, 
Oh shit! Weird booby trap room. Weird fucking room with a bunch of shit on the ground. Okay. Ooh. All right, we're fine. We're fine. I will not fall. Oh God. Okay. There we are. Oh jeez. Freya. I'm afraid to walk on that. What if something happens when I do it? Look, these dudes aren't setting it off, but I might. Okay. Look. Maybe the, maybe it's fine. Ooh. What's this? Ooh. They turn blue? Or white? Okay. Well, that's a full clear of all the new shit. Damn. Fucking Rallis didn't even go in all the way. <laughs> it probably- he's probably not even going inside now. Now that like after the first time when he found out that there were a Draugr in here, he doesn't even go inside anymore. He just assumes that it's- it's certain death. If there's anything really important, I'll tell him. <laughs> good god. Search this miner, anything good? Ooh, jeez, they put you up on the fucking altar and everything. Yeah, were they gonna turn you into a Draugr as well? Damn, they were about to embalm this man. <laughs> okay. Let's take your shit. Okay. Yeah, they got like the, what do you call them, the canopic jars or whatever. Put all your organs inside. Amulet of Zenithar, another pick, a little bit of money. Oh, a Stalrim fur helmet. Neat. Okay. Dwarven mace. Trash books, one more gold that I missed. Oh, look. Potion of Brief and Viz. Hide Bracers, regular pick. Alright, let's see what's in here. If anything. There we are. Good. Eh, more picks. I'll take them. Okay, how about you? Good. Notice, this is no longer, like, looking frosty. Let's do a quick save just as well, just in case. Okay. Little tiny brazier. Anything else nice around here? Some linen wraps. Little urn partially buried. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's some, like, swinging axes or something. Okay. So is this, like, a fun puzzle? What is all this? Freya. Is it supposed to do this? Are they broken? Look, there's an item in there and everything. What kind of a strange puzzle is this? Huh. Am I supposed to light them all up or something? Is that it? Is that really it? I, I just gotta light them all up? There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, you just gotta be fast. Wow, another ring! What the hell? Dude, this was like the most powerful dude around, apparently. Ajidal? You could wear two rings? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Come on up here. Fuck, yeah, who even needs the other pieces of armor if you can wear two rings? My god. Impressive. Let's see, what does it even do? Ajidal's Ring of Arcana. Allows you to cast the spells Ignite and Freeze. What? Ignite and Freeze. Okay, what do... What do they do? Ignite. A blast of flame that sets the target on fire doing 4 damage per second for 15 seconds. Is it just like another channeled one? Oh, I see. It's like an on-target dot. 
And what about freeze? Hmm. It's a spike of ice. Slows the target. Uh, so does this, does freeze have a slower, a more intense slow effect than a standard slow? Than like the regular shit from frost damage? I would assume. Okay. I do like that slow effect. Okay. Oh no. Blink. Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh god, how do I get out? Oh, there we go. Hooray! Oh, look, we've looped back around. Okay. Still, that wall is nowhere to be seen. Probably need to get on the left. Oh, here it is. Oh, man. Look, it's right here, yeah. Wow, we couldn't tell him to prioritize this? Fuck, who gives a shit about knowing how to cast, like, ignite and freeze? You see the top of this thing? Let's keep digging this up. This is important to me. <laughs> okay. Take some of that. Good. Anything else around here? Oh, look, there's a person trapped underneath in the scaffolding. I gotta say, like, I love the look of scaffolding in real life. I think it looks very cool. Looks, like, very precarious to walk on and stuff like, you know. Wouldn't want to do it myself. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be terrified of falling off accidentally or whatever, or it like wobbling a bit too much while I'm walking around on it. But I think it looks really cool. All the like pipe and, and all that coming together. Very neat look. Okay. Let us get on out of here. Good. Up, oh, up and over. Whoa! Oh, shit. Nah! Probably didn't need to full blast, but hey. What can you do? Alright. Rallis, I've done it. I've slain and slew all the assholes within. Well? All the Draugr are dead. Good. I'm glad I can count on you, at least. I think we're almost to the bottom of the barrel, but... It's going to be everything I can do to find more miners. We've developed quite the reputation. Yeah. But for enough gold, <laughs> I can do it. Just barely. How much? 5,000. You want 5,000 septums? You can't be serious. I like how this is still supposed to be like a whole lot to us. But, you know... At this point, psh, what's 5,000, you know? I mean, you know, sure, in the grand scheme of things, that's like a house. Haven't we bought houses for 5,000 or something? I don't know. All right, here, 5,000, sure. I know you could almost buy a house oh, there you go. much, but like I said, we've got quite the reputation out here. And coin is the only counterweight for a bad reputation. Have you got the money? As a matter of fact, I do. Good, good. This time I'll spring for some more experienced muscle. That should do the trick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming he just never goes in. He never goes in whatsoever. That's, that's how he survived. Right? Maybe the first time he did, but all other times after that, he's not going in there. He's not checking in on that. <laughs> he probably has, like, some kind of detect noise enchantment or whatever going on. He'll just listen for, like, the cries of agony and pain. <laughs> All right, let's see. Is there another journal around here? We neglected to even read the last one. All right, so we should probably play a little catch-up if we can. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, we should at least read volume 21. All right. The Journal of Rallis Sedaris, Volume 21. My invisible friends have kept it up, drawing closer. It took me a while to realize they were hiding themselves, but I figure it's out of shame. 
It takes a certain type of cowardice to spend all your time questioning a man's worth and value. You'd think they'd have the decency to at least let me sleep, but they persist even there. Right, and this is before, remember, this is this is from the time before this. As for the dig, we continue to stall out with the opposition from within the barrow. I had hoped the hardy people of this island would be able to deal with shuffling bones, but I appear to have overestimated them. Also, what are these invisible friends? Hmm. I forgot. Yeah, wasn't he, like, escaping someone? I, I don't remember. I won't make that mistake again. Okay, we'll take this. That was quick. We may as well read the other one. Get fully up to date. The Journal of Rallis Sedaris. Volume 22. If it weren't for the comfort brought by my invisible friend, I would have fled this place long ago. I wish I had realized earlier that it was not a group, but a master who contains multitudes. He's guided me into a true understanding of the Barrow, and I greatly desire to meet with him. Oh, I see. Okay, he's being... Okay. Yeah, there is some force at play here. Probably Ajidal, right? My insight into this place is now so intuitive, so fundamental, that I almost feel as if I built it myself. I explained to the workers how to use the tile set, but they seem too afraid or uncoordinated to properly step on each tile quickly enough. No problems. Nothing that the master cannot solve. We will be able to converse properly soon enough. I see. At the end of this, is he going to be, like, enraptured and taken over by Ajidal's, like, awesome power or something like that? I don't know. Okay. I'll take this money, I guess. Eat some cabbages just as well. Let's see. It's oh, there. Do you have anything new to say? They couldn't hold off the Draga. Who can? I did. Too bad we they can't have one of our well followers set up here. <laughs> you know, I bet Teldrin Saro back in Raven Rock could hold them all off solo. Right? And how much did he cost? Probably like 500, wasn't it? It's Rod Five, six hundred? Something now. along those lines? Shit. Who are- who, what mercenaries are you hiring? That charge so much and are so bad? Goodness gracious. <laughs> Alright, may, maybe it's just the idea is that like, in our company, all mercenaries are buffed. We, we like increase their morale as they're like, Oh my gosh, I'm with the last Deborn. Holy shit. I better kick things up a notch, right? We have some sort of charismatic morale raising effect on them. Anyhow, I'll just track down this other thing. Lost Legacy, and we'll hit that up real quick. Very good. Where's this again? Okay. Yeah, let's hit up the little Hootenanny here for Lost Legacy real quick, though. Alright, how's our carry weight look? Oh, yeah, we're totally fine. Okay, very good. Let's get some speedy times going. Rip those roots up. Good, good, good. Head on over here to meet with old, uh... I don't even remember his name. Tharsten, wasn't it? He's probably looking at that ruin that we saw partially unburied, right? We even discerned as much that it was probably unveiled by way of tectonic activity and whatnot. Oh, look, there's a dragon. Okay. Perhaps we may tame this dragon yet. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think of that, Freya? <laughs> sorry, Freya, I don't I don't know what got into me there. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Okay. Let's, let's get over here. Good, good, good. Alright. Speed on through this. Beautiful. Notice as well, the dragons, they don't come directly for us now. We see them just kind of chilling off in the distance. Maybe they know that I've got the bend will shout and we'll just really fuck them up. Right? Good lord. Man, you know, bend will would have been really nice to have during the main quest line. <laughs> right? Who needs dragon rend and shit like that? Come on. <laughs> Why don't we just bend will on Alduin? <laughs> can you- what happened? can you do that? What happens if you do this first? And then during the big showdown in Sovngarde, you use Bend Will on Alduin. What the fuck happens? What does he like say something? He's just like, "Ho ho ho ho, Dragonborn! I'm Alduin, and I am too powerful. My Thum, I created Bend Will. Oh, who do you? How do you think I subjugated everyone and was a massive asshole years and years ago? It was with none other than the Bend Will shall, baby." <laughs> <laughs> no, Alduin, your power is too incredible! Oh, I wish I knew Dragon Ran! Fuck me! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what a what a great time. <laughs> Let's do a quick save over here. Okay. Oh yeah, look at all this. Where are you at, dude? Oh, you down here? Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Knock, knock. I thought he said he would be waiting outside. Ooh, look. Oh, okay. Uh-oh, there's some blue going on here. Uh-oh. We're dealing with a blue one, Freya. <laughs> Keep your head on a swivel. We got ourselves a blue hue dungeon. Whew. Reminded me of Oblivion a little bit. The, like... Remarkable, isn't it? Reflective. This yeah. has oh. been hidden for... Well, who knows how long? Many centuries. I've had a look oh. around, and the only interesting thing I've found is this inscription here, and a switch below it. God. This fucking voice actor exploring with wonderment. Oh, I'm not sure if you can read the dragon language, but this seems to be a riddle of some sort. <laughs> it's like he's related to Tolstir. sacrifice will bring you closer to that which you seek. You can read it? I wonder what it means. A sacrifice will bring you closer to that which you seek. Wow, that's Time wild. Step. There seem to be some corpses strewn about on the floor here. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, you're gonna have to I kill me. This fire pit has anything to do with the river. Yeah, you're gonna have to kill me. You go ahead and see what you can figure out. I look around and see if I. You're gonna have to anything. sacrifice me and kill me or something. Okay. Here. Can we... Can you... Do you think we can actually do it? <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on a second. I, I might be able to figure this out. I, feel, I don't want to try and kill him, but can I do it myself? Hang on a sec. Alright, Freya? I'll have to come back to this place later and take detailed notes. Okay. Freya, activate the handle. Activate handle, Freya. Fuck. Okay, okay. Freya, can you activate handle? Oh, shit. Freya, will you do it? <laughs> she doesn't even want to do it. Okay. Um... What if I- can I just fly myself up in there? Hmm. I could probably make that. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> okay. Woo! Woo! I did it, man! Wow, I'm- ah! this, this fire is remarkably not that hot. <laughs> 
Tharsten, I'm kind of stuck down here. I ah. thought it would kill me instantly, but my native inherent Dunmer capabilities have made it to where this is just kind of cozy. <laughs> it's doing far less damage than I expected. <laughs> I thought I would like kill me instantly, like touching lava or something. Yeah. But I'm just down here chilling out. <laughs> uh, is there, is there any way back up? No. Okay. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Thankfully, we quick loaded. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't think we would like get trapped inside. To go into the fire, but what could it be? Something that's already nearby, perhaps. All right. Maybe it's you, Let's Tharsten. Let's be extra careful. Let's take all this. Maybe we just put a bod inside, huh? Or we have Freya do it here? Freya, look. Freya, I tried to make you do it this way and have you burn me. But Freya, if, if you don't want to burn me up, how about you just get fucked up yourself? Right? Oh, shit. Okay, Freya, hang on. <laughs> hang on now. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where is... Do we still have slow time active? Yeah, we do. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Freya. Oh, shit. She went flying too far. Okay. <laughs> hang on, Freya. Don't worry about this. It's, a, it's all good. Okay. I mean, I guess, you know, I guess I could like shoot you up into the air with the cyclone shout or whatever, right? Actually, are you just gonna stay there like that? Oh, oh that's perfect, Freya. That's perfect. What you're doing there? Go. That's perfect. All right, hold, hold up there, Freya. Don't worry, I got this. Hooray! Did it work? Freya, did it work? I don't think it worked. All right, Freya. Come out of the hole. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Freya, I'm going to throw some bodies down on top of you. Watch your head, Freya. Watch your head. Don't get hit by the bodies. Wouldn't you agree? Well done. It looks like we can head in either direction. Since you seem to know what you're doing, why don't you lead the way? Yeah, I totally know what I'm doing. Freya, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead. Are you are you good down there? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what's gonna happen to her? Is she gonna warp out? Will she warp out? Oh no. Uh, I'll take some bone meal. Oh, I really don't like that I can hear her screaming in pain and agony. That makes it a lot worse. <laughs> that really turns the guilt up a few notches. <laughs> okay. Let's see up here. Is she, like, really stuck in there? Hang on, Thorsten. I'm gonna go out the front door and just see if this resets things. Because I really don't want her stuck down there forever. I thought at least maybe she would warp out. You know how, how they do? You know, you know, Thorsten, you're a historian. You know how people sometimes warp around? I thought she would do some warping. <laughs> okay. Come on over here. Good. All right. Huh? Freya? Oh, shit. Is she- is it because I told her to wait? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, well? Hmm. That's not good. That's really not good. If I do it again- oh, she can- oh, she warped back out! Oh, perfect. Freya, you've done you've done something amazing here. Good shit. Even now, the All Maker watches over us. <laughs> Even now, follow me if I you will. I will shadow your steps. <laughs> if only these walls could speak. 
I would love to hear the stories they could tell. Yeah. Yeah, if only walls could speak and say things to you, huh? Yeah, that's never happened to me, Tharsten. Never. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything in this weird-looking water? Look at this, why does it look so odd? There's something odd about this water, huh? Am I, like, tripping balls, or is there something really odd about it? What's going on with this water? Huh. It's, like, weirdly reflective or something. I don't know. Peculiar. Oh, there's treasure. Okay. I'll take all that. Okay. Good. <sighs> Got some lovely hanging moss just as well. Anything else down here? Any more aquatic <gasps> treasures to behold? Nah, I think we're good. Right. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Okay. Let's head on back up. You know what? We'll prop yeah, let's end things a little bit early. Like I said, I'm a little short on time. I do need to record ahead because I won't be here. Uh, at my computer to actually do normal recording because I'll be gone for the weekend. But uh, on the bright side, that probably means that there's a very good chance. Oh, look. Oh, shit. There's good stuff there. But there's. Uh, that means that all the videos will be coming out fairly early because I won't be recording them uh, at the time of. <laughs> right? It'll be done in advance. Uh, that said, you know, a little bit on the shorter side for the weekend and all that. All right, when next we come back, we'll continue exploring this fantastic ruin, Veloc tomb, Veloc ruin, whatever it's called, with Freya, Tharsten, and of course, the lovely Gordon. Until next time, please take care of each other.